What's up, Industrial Automation World? I'm Mike. I'm the marketing manager for Scott Equipment Company. We're super excited. Marissa, an application specialist from Murr Electronic, came up from Atlanta today. She's going to tell you all about the Impact 67 Pro, why it's such a cool product, you need to know about it, and it's got a ton of features and benefits. Take it away, Marissa. Thank you, Mike. Thank you so much for the introduction. Great guy. Love it. So let's get into our product, one of our most popular products, the Impact 67 Pro. What is it that makes it so popular? Let me tell you. You see these gray ports up here? This is our way of giving you, the user, indica indicator of how many IO Link devices you can connect to it. Now you can connect up to eight IO Link devices and all these signal pins are fully configurable. So this block can be used for IO Link, it can be used as a DIO or a combination of both. All that in one part number. That's all you need for your inventory. Just one part number that can do all kinds of different functions. So the next thing I want to bring up is that LED indicators. Now, when it comes to our diagnostics, we have very detailed diagnostics. So with the diagnostics, we have visual, which is the LEDs that you see here. And then we also have the data that is passed on to the PLC. Now you can see the diagnostics both on the web UI and on the PLC. Now let me give you an indicator of something. Right now, this port is configured as IO Link. I have here an IO Link hub device. So I'm going to connect. Once I connect my cable onto this port, you're going to see that green LED turn solid green. That means that it's telling you visually that you have an IO Link device successfully connected. Now let's talk a little bit more about this solution right here. We call this the IOLink hub. With this module, you can connect up to eight of these hubs. And one hub, you can connect up to 16, one six digital signals. So you're probably wondering, okay, I don't really want to do the math, so let me help you with that. If you can do up to 16 signals per hub, and you can do eight of these, that's 128. Plus eight more signals because you still have pin two. So with one module, you can connect up to 136 digital signals under one IP address. Now, why is that significant? I will tell you. If you have a PLC that is limited to the number of IP addresses that it can accept, Decrease the number of addresses without sacrificing the number of I.O. you have on your machine. And when you sacrifice I.O. on your machine, that means you have to redesign. With this solution, you won't have to redesign, which means it will bring you closer to the end of the cycle of building your machine. Let's move on to the power connection. The power connection is an M12 L code. Now it is different to the seven, eight inch power that we're used to in the past, probably the past 20 plus years. But now that we are migrating towards the M12 L code power, the difference is not only is it smaller in size, but it can carry up to 16 amps per pin. Now let's think about this 16 amps per pin for an M12. That's almost unheard of. But yes, it is, we can achieve that. Now, this all started with the PI International, which is the group that makes the Profinet standards. They started it, and now we are following suit. We and other manufacturers are following suit to migrate from the 7, 8 inch power to the M12 L code. So with it being able to go up to 16 amps per pin, that means if you were to daisy chain this exact module, that means under with one chain, you can connect more of these in one chain. Two reasons why this would be advantageous for you. Number one, you would be able to have a, with a smaller connector, you have a smaller diameter cable. And when we talk about the cable, we're also talking about the big R word, which is routing the cables routing the cables through the channels. So with a 7-8 inch, I'm sure you all have been through that 
struggle of a thicker cable running through a channel or a cable tray or whatever, now it's gotten smaller with more capabilities. The second reason is the 16 amps. Now, let me explain something. In this M12 L code, you have two power sources. You have input power and you have output power. You can run 16 amps per power source when you're daisy chaining. Now, when it comes to our pro module, you can do up to 10 amps for input power total at once and 10 amps total at once for output power. We have gotten the feedback of, oh, that's not a lot. But then we will say, well, are all the outputs on at the same time? Probably not, because the actuators, they have two signals. If you have an actuator that is a, that is a, it, it extends and it retracts. The signal for this is not, is on, but this is off. This is on and that signal's off. So 10 amps is definitely more than enough to run at one time. So now that we've gone over the block here, we have some really exciting news for you. And this is something that a lot of our customers have been waiting for for the longest time. For those of you users that have used IO Link blocks, maybe not this one, but a different one, you realize that you've been using an external tool. Well, now what we're going to do in our upcoming firmware, which is scheduled to be re released sometime this year, is we're going to implement that tool right into the web server. And there are so many benefits why that would be a, a advantageous for you as a user. If you use Linux and you're very limited to what you can install, you, all you have to do is access the web server of the block and just change the parameters of your IO link device and test it that way. Another thing is, I'm sure we've all been through this, our IT departments are really going uh, very hard on those security measures with our computers. And then when we have a, when we have a software that we're not able to open, that we're not able to use, and then we have to call IT and you're, you're just frustrated because you're trying to get your work done. Well, with that tool being implemented in here, you don't have to worry about your computer or the security settings being compatible with, your, with the tool. It's all in here. And not only that, now robots, we have come to realize that our robot manufacturers out there are also implementing right in the teach pendant you're able to access the web server of the modules that are connected in the network. So let's say FANUC, for example, you can write from the teach pending, you can access the web server, you can change the parameters of your IO link device, and you can test your IO link device. For example, a distance sensor, an IO link distance sensor, you can change the range and you can check what is the range that it's detecting all from your teach pendant. The second feature that we are releasing with this firmware is called expert mode. Now I'm talking to all you users that are currently using Yaskawa, for example, or uh, any robot manufacturer that can only take so many input and output bytes of process data. So there are some controllers out there that have a limitation or cut off at a certain point. With the expert mode, you are able to change that length to size so that the block is compatible with the controller you're using. So there will be no need for you to have to upgrade your controller or anything. With expert mode, you'll be able to use this, this multifunctional block. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this has brought some ideas to you. Please contact Scott Equipment or, and we will work with you and work on new solutions. Thank you and stay connected. Marissa, thanks for coming up today and telling us all about the features and benefits of the Impact 67 Pro. We know it's a long trip, but man, did we learn a lot about this product. If you have any questions about the Impact 67 Pro, reach out to your local Scott Equipment Company account manager. If they don't have the answer, they're calling Marissa, right? Yes. All right. So anyways, thanks for taking some time to watch today's video. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great industrial automation videos. Thanks.
Thanks, Marissa. Thank you, Mike. This was really a great opportunity. Thank you. Awesome. <laughs> See you guys. Bye.